everybody, my name is Sean Patrick Flanner in the movie Hidden Away. I play Brett, who is the anti-stalker. Uh, the new love of my life is being stalked by her past, by a lie that grew disproportionately out of control, and an artifact in her previous life that is coming and trying to infiltrate my love for her. And it makes me very angry. Uh, my character is Greg Sloan. He's a private investigator. He's hired by uh, Mr. Bennett to find out if his wife, who is supposedly dead, is alive. My character in the beginning of the movie is named Stephanie and uh, she is being abused by her husband and she escapes with her daughter, fakes her death and reestablishes herself in Palm Springs under a new name and starts a new life. I honestly couldn't be more thrilled uh, to be shooting on location in Palm Springs because well, first of all, it's beautiful, and I'm a huge fan of the desert. I feel like I'm just away from everything that ever makes me worried, and because um, I come out here for like Coachella and stuff, so this place holds a lot of good memories for me. Pop Springs is beautiful. It's um, it's kind of a cross between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. So you have some casinos here, which is cool for the days off and the per diem. And uh, beautiful weather, there's not a cloud in the sky. People are really nice. They're happy to have you here and accommodating. And um, you know, it just makes a fun job even better. Shooting in Palm Springs is totally divine. It's an unusual environment. It's very special. I think from all of the different projects I've done over the years, I think the location is also a character in a movie. There's something very hidden away about Palm Springs. I think historically it's been a place where people come and hide away. And whether they're movie stars or they're politicians or they're uh, mobsters or whatever they may do, people have historically come here to um, disappear. And that's what Alexandra does. She comes here to Palm Springs to disappear and start over. You know, none of us would want to have to run away in the, in the dead of night to protect our little ones, but we would. And I think there's a sort of universal story here that even if you haven't been through something as extreme as Alexandra's been through, it's your living nightmare that you would be. Uh, you know, a long time ago in, in Hollywood, it used to be very male-driven, very male-dominated. And now I think we're starting to see a lot of women empowerment in these movies where uh, women take control of their own lives and uh, decide that enough is enough. And um, you know, so it's a, it's a good thing to be a part of because um, you know there's some equality in the films now. In real life, if I had a stalker, and I have had a stalker, I have a gentleman that occasionally sends me orders in the mail. No internet. This guy uh, still uh, sends mail with stamps uh, in San Diego, and the letters are orders. Literally, Sean. By February the 22nd, I want you to listen to Moonlighting by Van Morrison 16 times until the third Tuesday of the month. And at that point, I want you to write the third line of lyrics down and I want you to memorize it and take it to heart. After that, I want you to listen to nothing but James Taylor for 46 days. I can't make that up. Actually, I could make that up. I'm pretty creative, but that really does happen. About four or five times a year, I get a letter from a cat that just orders me around, tells me what foods to eat, tells me how to combine citrix with vegetables and proteins, what time to eat them and whatnot. I don't know what the repercussions are going to be, should I not follow, but uh, if you're out there looking, to a T. I follow it to a T. 